everyone this is Amy welcome today to my channel I'm going to show you a very simple floral design using a number 16 a magic round brush a number 8 a magic flat brush fine liner by Westonia and a number 10 Deerfoot stippler all the paints I'm using today are folk art paints I do do a combination of the multi surfaces and the enamels. I'm using copper, which is a metallic, thicket, school bus yellow, teal topaz, and aqua. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've cleaned off the bottle. Now, if you watch my videos, this is a bottle that I use often in my videos so I just cleaned it off I'm not doing anything special as far as uh, cleaning the glass just washing it off I just put on some uh, rubbing alcohol to help get the old paint off uh, but if you're going to paint on glass make sure that you do clean it with soap and water clean it off with rubbing alcohol before you begin just to make sure that you get any kind of dust oil off so that the paint adheres nicely to the bottle. Also, if you're uh, painting on glass, put on your paint a little bit thicker, then that will actually allow it to be more durable as well. But not too thick because you don't want it to bubble if you're going to bake it. Alright, so I'm going to work in threes. I'm going to start with my Deerfoot stippler, stick the front of the brush into the school bus yellow, the back into the copper, and then do some pouncing. So I do tip, back, and do some pouncing. And I am going to start over here, just putting my centers in. Not real concerned right now, because I will go back over the centers, but I'm just making them round. And again, working in threes. I like to work in odd numbers. That's up to you, though. If you want to do two, you want to do just one flower, that's up to you. Again, just create based on your interest. Make it your own. All right, then I'm going to take my round brush. I'm going to stick the brush into the teal topaz and then tip it into the aqua. Or you can do the reverse or you can mix it up, however you want to do it. Oops. So on this one, I'm going to try to push my brush down as far as I can. I want more of a that petal and you can make them different sizes if you want but I do want them to be a little spaced out from each other and just pull towards the center and I'm going to go ahead and go over this one again just pull it towards the center I'm going to put a little bit more paint on that. So if you're looking at your, your painting and you feel like the paint is not thick enough, just go back over it. Not a big deal. Put on some relaxing music and you'll be good to go. Also, if you want to look, make it look like your flowers turned a little bit, you can do shorter strokes, or you can do it where you just vary the stroke from one to another. And this one is a little bit closer, and you can leave a space even if you want, just to kind of give it some interest. They don't all have to be spaced identical. Yeah, just kind of play with it, make it how you want it. And you can put a little curve on it as you're painting. So they're not all identical. They're a little, you know, 
they're, this, they're similar, but they're not identical, which is perfect for me. Sorry about my arm. I'm going to go back in, work on the centers again. And I always like to do this as much as possible, unless I just want the center to be, you know, kind of scraggly. Then I will just leave it the way it is without going back over it. But this just kind of neatens up the attachment that you had uh, with the petals to the flower itself. And you can keep working with your centers if you want them bigger or smaller. doesn't matter. It's up to you. You can put dots around them if you want or some lines in them to give some shadowing. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my fine liner. Just putting it in, kind of rolling it out. Putting in, kind of rolling it out, get the excess paint off. And then I'm going to come down. And actually, the way I'm doing this, I'm going to have more than one stem. Each flower is on its own, its own stem. going to grab my flat brush going to dip one side into the thicket one side into the school bus yellow and then just do some blending strokes I, I'm really just not picky about how I load my brushes I know people a lot of times want to see it's like okay I can show you but I'm just not picky so I'm just going to come a little round and then come back up if you want to blend it a little bit more, you can go back down and bring it back up. You can overlap the flower itself. And of course, yes, you're going to pull in some of that color, but that's okay. And just take your time. Just take your time and relax and enjoy. That's the main thing with, with creating. You just want to use it as a way to relax and have just a fun little hobby to do. That can give you that relaxation. And you're creating something pretty for your home or as a gift. You know, these bottles are actually very pretty with lights in them. Very pretty. And I'm going to come out here away from this. Away from this one. And you can rotate, because I do a lot of rotating of my colors, so that I have some of the light on the exterior, some of the dark, just kind of vary them don't have to have them all the same. I mean, most of these are the same on this one. Like that. All right, so then what I'm going to do next, grab my fine liner again and repeat. And then I'm just going to come through here and add some veins or lines to them to attach them to the stems. If you feel you want to leave this part out, leave it out. It's up to you. And it's your work. Make it yours. I am not picky about that at all. And then what I like to do on this, 
I'm just going to do some, and it's kind of hard to see because I have the darker gloss. That's why I'm adding more of the yellow in. But I am just doing some simple little, I don't know, just little pieces that come. And you can even make some of them a little bit uh, squiggly, you know, so they're not straight in line. They're just little pieces, just kind of come out, just kind of come around your design. I mean, then that's just something you're you're doing on your own. You don't have to do these. Anytime I create a design, if you don't like something that I'm adding, leave it out. It's all pure and simple. Leave it out. You know, designs don't have to be for everyone. And my designs are meant to be simple for the beginning painter. Of course, if you're a more experienced painter, knock yourself out. Make it more difficult. That's up to you. All right, so there you have it. Quick and easy. All right, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would take a moment to share this video, hit the share button underneath and share it in your social network with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one. See you next time.